Nick Walenda has done it again. He brought a world audience the excitement that has been in his family for seven generations. SNN's Chrissy McClarty was one of 50,000 people in Chicago gathered downtown to watch Walenda make two historic walks. At 35 years old, Nick Walenda broke two Guinness World Records Sunday night, adding it to the seven he already has. All my training in my hometown at Sar in Sarasota, um, all that hard work definitely pays off. Walenda walked two wires, one at a 19 degree angle, more than two city blocks long. The other a straight across wire, walked with a blindfold and no nets, even no harnesses. Walenda says more challenging than walking the wire is not walking the wire. You know, the hardest part of doing live TV is waiting till the director says, go ahead on the wire. That hour leading up to it that everybody's going, why are they making us watch this for an hour until he gets on the wire? I'm going, why are they making me wait to get on the wire for an hour? Because I want to get on that wire and walk. Thousands of people have come down here to State Street and Wacker to watch Nick Lolendo walk over the Chicago River. At first, I thought he was a little whack. I think it's pretty cool, like, you know, something he's passionate about. With spectators flocking to Chicago from around the world. Uh, I'm French, and uh, I'm here to uh, watch the man uh, on the wider. They hunker down hours before the walk to get a good view. How early did you get out here? An uh, hour and a half. We wanted to walk around the area and see what kind of view we had. Okay. To get a good view so we can see him walk wider. No one with a better view than Walenda himself, walking 600 feet over the Chicago River. And the, the skyline is just unreal from up there just to, to take it in. Walenda will spend the next couple days in Chicago and New York. <laughs> Talking to media. Reporting downtown Chicago, Chicago. 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 Ch